okay so in this lecture i'm this is a little bit shorter lecture because i just want to focus on the networking piece again and i want to focus on pod to pod networking so if you see uh, and this i discussed in a previous lecture that like it shows a manager and two worker nodes and it shows the side range of the manager and the workers and the ips that are allocated so when a new pod comes up on so i have a worker node right so if a new pod comes up it will be in the range of 10.244.1 and if another one comes up in worker 2 it will be in the range of 10.244.2 and how they communicate so if there are two pods running on the same worker node then they will they will be in the same uh, net network they'll be in the same namespace and they don't need any other gateway you know like if you check the routes it will directly be able to send to the pod on the same node but if you try to reach a pod within one worker node tries to reach a pod on another worker node it need it goes through the gateway and i'll just show you that so if I go back to my terminal, and this is my master node, if I show you, uh, it's the same one, my one node, two, one node is down because that was in the private subnet and I shut it down. Uh, it was using NAT gateway and it was um, consuming some, uh, it was billing, you know, sending me bills. So I just wanted to shut it down for a while. That doesn't change anything. I still have two other nodes that are running in the public subnet and the master. So if you see the pods, how many pods do I have? Uh, I have a couple. So let me just go to the real ones that I want to show. Uh, grab. So there's a busy box pod. This is running on cube worker one. And there is an Nginx pod, which is running on cube worker one. So both of them are running on one worker node. And if I go in there and if I check, they will be, and if I do a Docker PS, <coughs> I will be able to see the containers because the container is running inside the pod. Uh, so, and the IPs of the pods you see are both in the same 10.244.1.43 and 1.37. Now, if I exec into one of the pods, let me say if I exec into a busy box pod, right, if I exec, exec in there and I want to do a trace route and I want to see how will I reach to the Nginx pod which is the IP is 244.1.37. I will directly be able to hit it to the my internal uh, interface. But now if I want to do a, if I do a trace route on the one that is running on the another worker node, which is 10.244.2.16, then it's, you see over here, it before reaching the pod, it actually goes through the two gateways 10.244.1.1 and 2.0 so what are these we can do a uh, route minus n for the routing table on the manager uh 10.244 these are the gateways and if i and and the gateway is it's a flannel network so to set up networking and making sure that the, the networking works when i set up the cluster after kubeadm i set installed the flan flannel plugin so flannel sets up like an overlay which helps to communicate between the pods and if i do a route minus n on my one of the worker nodes this is my worker node yeah so if i do route minus n over here so 10.244.2.0 is one of the gateways and which is uh, with the interface of flannel one so that's how they will communicate within a particular within a cluster that's how the different parts communicate